Have you ever desired to take a trip to go steelhead fishing and land some trophy trout? I'm going to explain in this video how you can fulfill that desire if you're an avid angler like me or if you're someone new and you wanna pursue this fish. This trip I recently took up to Pennsylvania, specifically the Great Lakes tributary of Elk Creek where this is known to be a honey hole for steelhead trout was a dream come true. I'd gifted my dad this trip for his birthday earlier in October, but due to kind of unforeseen weather conditions, actually not enough rain and water in the region, we had to postpone. And we were also a little nervous about COVID with respect to this fishing trip. So we rescheduled this intended trip that we made through Outdoor Access, which is an Airbnb for the great outdoors. If you wanna hunt prime hunting properties or go fish prime fishing properties, Outdoor access is a great vehicle to do that. And had I had more time, I certainly would have fished the public tributaries, public access ways, but given time constraints, just wanting to go with what we know, especially using a system like outdoor accesses, which I cannot speak highly enough of, we wanted to see and try our hand at some trophy steelhead trout fishing there. In addition to my father, I invited my friend Brad Smith of Walton Rods along for the ride. He is an avid steelheader. He knows a lot about trout fishing. We'd been connected for many years and finally got to meet in person. He similarly made a long trek from his state of Indiana up to the Erie region to come fish with us. Steelhead as a term is hotly debated, mind you. Steelhead out west is a completely different fish. It's more of a salmonoid. In the Great Lakes region, steelhead trout refers to large trophy rainbow trout. Steelhead in the Great Lakes region are denoted by their silver gray to dark green colorings and markings. And they also have a very visible lateral line, usually pink or reddish in color. They look like a monster rainbow trout for those of you who are unfamiliar. These fish, let me tell you, were crazy. And I mean crazy in a good sense. We were fishing in this perfect backdrop. It was a limestone creek and trout, especially these steelhead trout need cold flowing, highly oxygenated water to thrive. They typically thrive in a water temperature of 55 degrees. And sometimes, according to the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, they can even thrive in as high as 70 degree water, but they typically thrive in colder temperatures. So these limestone creeks are perfect habitat to find steelhead trout. On this outdoor access property, we traversed two pools of steelhead habitat. The first pool was full of fish. It was unlike anything I've ever seen. And these fish are part of the Fish and Boat Commission stocking program. While we were fishing on private land, a lot of the fish that are there are stocked by the state just because they flow through it. Pretty simple. And this first pool was not really successful, but it was still good to admire. And then we hiked a little bit more with our guide, Randy. And if you're fishing with this property, you're gonna be fishing with a guide by the name of Randy. The landowners entrust this gentleman who is really knowledgeable about fishing to take guests on the property and show them a good time. And we had all of us of different fishing experience levels. All of us are pretty advanced. I wanted to fish both fly fishing and also spin. I wanted to try my hand at both. And since I really love to target trout through fly fishing now, I really wanted my hand at that. So we used an Okuma, I believe, SST rod. And we used that on an artificial minnow. And for fly fishing, we used Brad's signature rods, the Soli six weight, which is the rod that I possess. And then we also used his eight weight Avari, which is one of the new ones. And I think one of his new Ranger reels. So we had a great arsenal of tools at our disposal. Here's how our fishing trip went. Yeah. That other hole there, there in that such little uh -huh. spot, that this is probably the, the best. Better for us? I would think, don't you? I, mean, I like it. I, I mean, mean <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've had success, so it's all good. All right, you know how to do it. Keep it raised up. Here, Randy's going to help you. Thank you very much. Yay. Dad, 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 let it. Nice work, dad. 
Fabulous. Yay! <laughs> Hold on, let me. number two. Oh my gosh show us show for the camera show for the camera oh wow that is pretty big let's see oh wow that is a honker Wait, I want to film a little bit more. I'm going to get it on my camera too, Brad. So you get some professional stuff. I'll get it on my Sony Alpha too, the photos. It's just easier to film on my... <laughs> That's a nice one. Maybe I'll try the stone fly. We have Randy assisting. Brad. Oh. I'm, I'm just commenting for, <laughs> for this little video. <laughs> Excellent work. That's right. There's, it looks like it ain't the top fly, and then the, the one the bottom got, or one of them got it. Yeah. I can't tell. That's a beauty. Yeah, real nice. I like it. Would you mind taking some pictures of this? I will, on my camera, yeah. Uh, no, I mean like the, the rod. Oh, yeah. Hold on. The fish is coming out of the bag. <laughs> Dad, stop fishing. <laughs> what? Hold on. Caught myself a very nice rainbow steel hitch trout from Pennsylvania. We're going to safely release it. Hold on a second.
As you can tell by the imagery that I've provided here, we had a phenomenal trip. We were able to reach our limit in Pennsylvania. You're allowed to take three fish per person with a minimum length of 15 inches. So be mindful of that when you go fishing and you wanna take some home. You can also release some too. Without a doubt, this was a fishing trip of a lifetime. Considering just how kind of crummy this year has been, spending time outdoors has just been a refuge for many of us, myself included. And fishing is a great socially distanced activity. It's a perfect way to recreate responsibly. Traversing a property like that belonging to outdoor access can be a great way for you to net trophy steelhead trout. Know before you go, first, you're not limited to how you can fish except if you're fishing certain designated waters. On this property in particular, there was no limit. You could fish on a fly rod, you could fish on a bait rod, or you can fish on a spin rod. I fished on a fly and a spin rod and had success using both. Optimal time to target trophy steelhead is usually between October and April. What the landowners told us in terms of optimal fishing was to wait for some rain and then ultimately after the snowstorm to come. So this was a perfect condition to go fishing. The water was thawing out, the fish were biting, and it was just an opportune time to go. When you're fishing in Pennsylvania, whether it is private or public waters, make sure you buy both a resident or non-resident fishing license and also a Lake Erie permit and trout stamp. That allows you to fish and to be on the safe side and those dollars go back to conservation. Added bonus. If you wanna fish this outdoor access property, make sure you get a membership with outdoor access. If you wanna fish the public equivalent of Elk Creek, be my guest too, and I hope one day I can explore that as well. But you need to have membership to access this, and then you also have to pay a nominal fee. If you wanna learn more about how you can fish this particular outdoor access property in the Lake Erie tributary, you can go to www.outdooraccess.com. If you liked some of the rods that we used, I highly recommend you check out Walton Rods, which is Brad's company. They make American-made, high-quality fly rods, you should give them your business, shop local, shop American. Make sure you follow Brad as well and, and follow his company. They're about to have an explosion of growth and he was a joy to fish with and I'm so glad we were finally able to connect. Did this video motivate you to go steelhead fishing in 2021? Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear them. If you'd love to see more outdoor videos like this, chime in below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great new year and get excited to go fishing come New Year's.